This is a guide on replacing a digitizer and the LCD screen on an Apple iPad 2. For the replacement process, we will need the following tools. Heat gun or a hairdryer, plastic picks, small Phillips screwdriver, small flat screwdriver, tweezers. You may also need protective glasses. The digitizer is glued onto the main body and it is easy to damage the device during the opening process. Before we start removing the digitizer, it is important to know a few zones which will require your special attention. First spot is the Wi-Fi antenna, which is located to the right of the home button. The Wi-Fi antenna is glued to the glass and needs to remain with the main body when the digitizer is separated. Please pay extra attention to that area when opening the device. Another area which requires special attention is near the volume and the power buttons. Be extra careful around that area while working through the glue. To begin, shut down the device by holding the power button and then confirming the shutdown on screen. In order to soften the glue, we need to warm up the perimeter of the device with a heat gun. Be consistent and try to distribute the heat evenly. Do not apply heat for longer than three minutes. Start opening the device from the top left corner. Insert the plastic pick between the glass digitizer and the aluminium body. Do not insert the tool more than a quarter of an inch deep, otherwise you may damage the internal cables. Since the digitizer is completely broken, it will start to crumble, so take your time and carefully remove the glass piece by piece. Reapply the heat when you feel that the glue is not soft enough. Move along the perimeter gently separating the digitizer. Continue opening the device. Gently work your way around the perimeter going back and forth on each side. Use a knife when needed. Take extra caution around the web camera. Insert pieces of plastic under the digitizer to prevent it from sticking back. Be extremely cautious when working on the area to the right of the home button. The Wi-Fi antenna is glued to the glass. You must make sure that it stays with the main body. In our case, we removed the glass in tiny pieces. Move along the edge towards the power button, paying extra attention to the area around the volume and power button. Once the separation is achieved, open the device as a book. There are still plenty of glue and pieces of glass left on the main body. Take extra time to clean the device thoroughly. Now we have access to the LCD screen, which is held in place by four Phillips screws. Remove the screws. Lift the LCD panel and place it on top of the digitizer. At this point, the connectors are exposed and we can disconnect the LCD screen and the digitizer. Using tweezers, open the video connectors bracket and gently slide out the video cable. Set the LCD aside. Using the same tweezers, open the digitizer's connector latches. There are two of them. Slide out the digitizer's cable and set the digitizer aside. Caution. It is very important not to force any of the connectors. All connectors are very fragile. The iPad in front of us was dropped and its corners got bent in. To make sure that the new digitizer will fit in properly, it is necessary to bend the corners back to the original shape. Since the main body of the device is made of aluminium, the corners can be reshaped using a special vice tool. Place the tool onto the damaged corner and bend it to its original shape by turning the tool's knob. This fix will ensure that the new digitizer can sit perfectly flush to the body. At this point, we are ready to install the new digitizer and the LCD screen. 
Start with the digitizer. Remove the protective film from the inner side of the item and align it with the main body. Guide the digitizer's cable back in its place and slide it into the connector. Close the connector's latches. Next, reinstall the LCD screen. Make sure that there is no protective film left on the item. Align the LCD with the main body and reconnect it to the logic board. Close the video connector's bracket. Flip the screen back into the original position. Secure it with four Phillips screws. At this point, it is important to remove any protective film, dust, smudges and fingerprints from the LCD screen and the inner side of the digitizer. Close the digitizer, making sure that it is perfectly aligned with the aluminium body. Apply some pressure around the perimeter for the better adhesion. Remove the protective film. Turn the iPad on and you are done.